All right, we're going to be doing a lesson in Tinkercad today. Uh, you're going to go to tinkercad.com and you will have to log in using Google. Once you get logged in, you're going to click on the Create New Design. This will take you to a blank uh, Tinkercad workspace. We're going to be making a tombstone today for Halloween. We're going to start by using a box. You're going to click and drag box over. Um, this will be the main part of our tombstone, so we need to make it pretty thin. So we're going to take this top little box here. Uh, remember, you can move around by right-clicking um, with if you're using a mouse, or I think you can use two fingers on the laptop touchpad, or you can use uh, this little box up here to move around. Being able to move around in Tinkercad to see what you're looking at is an important part, so make sure um, that you can do that. So try using whichever method you're using, mouse, uh, touchpad, to move around and make sure you can see different parts uh, of your object easily. Um, we're going to click on the top part of this and we're going to drag it or type uh, 2. So that's 2 centimeters. Um, and then we're going to take this and we're going to change this to 30. 30 and by 30. So just a slightly bigger square, but very thin. We're going to come over here uh, to the side and we're going to scroll down to round roof. I'm going to click right here. Um, we're going to make this two also. Oops, wrong one. We're make this one two. And we're going to make this one right here. 30. Then we're going to come over to the side, uh, click this little rotation, and we're going to type in 90 degrees. Uh, let's see, I'm going to move it this way too. So I'm going to just rotate it 180 degrees this way. Okay, so now it's going like this. I'm going to come over here and drag it, and I'm going to put it right on top. Oops. And if you're in stuff like this, you can drag this little arrow to line up. We just want it right on top of our square. So right like that. Once you get it all lined up, you're going to click and drag a box and select both of them. And you're going to click this group button right here. Or you can press Control G, it says. And it'll all turn the same color. But it's starting to look a little bit more like a tombstone. Uh, next step we're going to do, uh, we're going to make it look a little bit more decorative. So we're going to drag another box. Um, we're going to lower this one to three. Uh, we're going to make it, I'll drag it this way. Here, we'll make it, let's see, 30, 32. Um, and then we're going to make this one, let's try two, see what that looks like. That looks okay. We're going to line it up with the bottom here. So line it up so it's just hanging over. It should be hanging over uh, one millimeter on this side and one millimeter on that side. All right, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to drag it up and get another box. Or actually, what we're going to do, we're going to delete that. We're going to click this one right here, and we're going to press Control C and then press Control V to copy it. That'll save us a little bit of time. Uh, now we're just going to change this one to 33. We're going to drag it over just a little bit. Well, let's change it to 34, I guess. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to make it just slightly taller. We're going to change it to 4. So it should look something like that. So we want it to make it like little stairs, kind of. Once we get both of those and they're all lined up, we're going to drag a box around everything again, and we're going to group it together. So now we can move it all. It's just one solid piece. Uh, I'm going to open up a new tab. Uh, I'm going to type in Tinkercad skull pin. One thing that's cool about Tinkercad is once someone makes something, um, you can open up their design and you can edit it even. So uh, if you just search Google for Tinkercad skull pin, it'll be the first one here, 2D skull pin design. 
click on that. We're going to click Copy and Tinker. So it might take a second to load. If you saw those little holes and such it had, um, those will go away once it's loaded. You're going to click on this piece. You're going to press Control C, um, or I think there's a click this button if you wanted to instead. But click either that button or Control C, and then come back over to yours and press either the Paste or Control V, and we'll get this right here. We're going to shrink it down some. Let's see. If you hold Shift while you're moving it, it stays in proportion. If you don't hold Shift, I'll just let go, and it kind of stretches out. So if you want to keep it uh, all in proportion, hold that. Um, we're going to make it smaller here, um, and we're going to raise it up a little bit. We want it to be three tall. So make it an appropriate size. Um, mine is about 16 by 18. Um, if you want yours bigger or smaller, that's okay. You can make it bigger or smaller. Um, it does need to be at least uh, three tall or it's going to be too small. And you don't want it too big. So put it three tall and then make it what size you want. And we can always change it later. Don't, don't group it yet. So we'll leave it right there so we can move it around if we want to. Uh, you're going to come back over here. You're going to find some text. And it's a little bit big, but we can work with that. We're going to drag this down to three also. We want it to be sticking up just slightly from our thing. Uh, let's change the color here so we can kind of see what we're working with. Let's change it to white. So we can change the color by doing that. Um, and then let's make it smaller here. So something that tombstones off. Oops, I'm messing up. Okay. Let's change the size. I don't want to do that. Leave that as three. All right, so we can change the text over here. I'm going to change this to RIP, rest in peace. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to take off that last period because it looks so funny. So put that up there. Click this. And then if you want to add some more text, you can. I'll make this smaller here. Let's shrink a little bit. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead to add some more text here. I'm going to copy this. That way I don't have to resize it and recolor it if by dragging it over and doing all that. So I'm going to save myself a little bit of time. Um, let's see. Rest in peace. My sanity. I'm going to make that small enough to fit. So I should have held shift while I was doing that, and then it wouldn't have got all messed up. Um, we are going to be 3D printing this. So if you make any text too small, it's going to be too small for the 3D printer to handle, and it's not going to print very well. So this right here is plenty big enough. Um, this is probably, a, you want to make the rest of the text as big as you can. Um, something like this will probably be okay. It's starting to push it. Um, you definitely don't want to go any smaller than what I have right here, um, with our 3D printers or it's not, it, it just won't print parts if it's too small for it to be able to, so you'll just have gaps in it. So don't, don't try to write something really long there, or it's just not going to work. Um, something like that, it's probably less characters. Um, that would probably be more likely to print good. So design it however you want. Um, keep in mind, when we're 3D printing, we'll be doing a one color 3D print. Um, all of our 3D printers can only have one color at a time. So it's not gonna look like this when it gets done. Uh, it's going to all be the same color, so it's basically all going to be grouped together. And so it's going to look something more like this if we put it in red, or you can kind of see what it'll look like with different colors. Oops, I got that off even. So you can always ungroup something. You can also, if you want to make sure it's even, I can click that. I can hold shift and click this. Uh, I can click this align button so I can make sure that those are even, and then I can align it vertically, or in this case, I want it aligned horizontally. 
And now I know that skull is right in the middle of that. I can do the same thing with my text if I wanted to also. I think my text is pretty good though, we'll see. Well, it was off just a hair. All right, so once you get it all, um, you will group it all together. Things you want to watch out for is you don't want any gaps. So if there's like an, a gap in between here, um, that's not good because when it 3D prints, it'll leave that gap and it won't be attached and your tombstone will fall apart. Um, one other thing we could do, um, we could turn this into like a necklace or a keychain or something. So I'm going to come up here to cylinder and make a cylinder. It's way too big. Let's try two by two. Looks pretty good. So we're going to line this. We're going to click on. We're going to click on the cylinder. We're going to click on our tombstone. Hold shift. Click on our tombstone. Um, we're going to align. We want to line it like that. So it's in the middle there. Um, we don't want it too close to the edge. Maybe a little closer than that. Maybe right there. Uh, if you have it too close to the edge, that won't be enough material. It'll be a weak, it'll, and that could possibly break if you're trying to do something on there. Um, we need to change this to a hole because that looks kind of funny sticking up. I change it to a hole. And now we're going to select everything, and we're going to group that together. And that groups the hole with it, and so it puts a hole in, and now you can see through it. We have a little keychain hole. Um, so you can put that if you want. You don't have to. Um, you could make it slightly bigger if you want. That's kind of small. I could ungroup it. I could change it to three by three instead. I want you to be able to do it. So try doing it. But if you decide that you don't want your uh, tombstone that we actually th we are going to 3D print these, uh, if you don't want it to have a little hole at top then you can take it off. But go ahead and do this with me. Make sure you know how to do it. Because you may want to do that later. And they did the same process to make these eyes and the skull. Um, they used uh, these spheres here, made that um, into a hole, and used that to kind of cut out for the skull part. All right, so here we go. Um, once you get it all done how you want it, um, you're going to, it saves it automatically, but what you're going to turn into the Google Classroom so that we can actually 3D print it is you're going to click export and you're going to save it as a STL file. So save this, name it, um, your name, like uh, at least first and last initial and tombstone.